Hello folks, um, this is Dominic from German Gaming Supplies and uh, what I want you to um, see here is a uh, large uh, Sega DMD replacement uh, which we offer in our shop and also on Pinside and uh, German Flippermarkt Forum and uh, yes, uh, this is uh, the kit you receive. Here you can see a large uh, display, uh, dot matrix display with uh, RGB dots. Um, it's uh, 192 by 64 pixels. Like the original, it has uh, exact the same size. Um, yes. Uh, uh, provided is also a uh, power supply and as you can see on the back um, you every unit is uh, delivered with a uh, serial number so you can easily um, uh, register your device uh, without uh, having to turn on and uh, also on the invoice and uh, on the delivery note you get uh, your personal ID as well and uh, here you can see this is mainly the um, heart of the system a custom controller uh, running with the uh, pin to DMD XL firmware from uh, lucky one from the pin to DMD project and um, this is an SD card reader and this is the special uh, provided cable uh, for uh, connecting to your um, DMD controller which has to stay in the machine. So uh, this only really only replaces the uh, your broken DMD. It does not uh, replace uh, the DMD controller itself. So uh, if you uh, damaged your controller then you have to uh, search for another replacement okay let's uh, fire this thing up and uh, yes it actually works without a real pinball machine so i uh, added a uh, well, no i i um, turned the palette to white and the flickering you can see is only because of uh, different uh, refresh rates of my camera and the DMD. In original it uh, does not flicker. So let's uh, reset the device. We have the two buttons on the back. A uh, menu button and an option button. And with that you can um, adjust your display without using a computer or uh, having to hack or something else. Let's check it out. First we restart the display by pressing both buttons together and holding the menu button uh, when uh, releasing the option button. Now it restarts, we still hold and here you can see the config menu with uh, different options and the first is uh, the device mode normally it is um, set to Sega display the second option is a color palette so you can choose from <clears throat> sorry from different basic palettes like um, orange or original amber to RGB palette to red green blue purple, pink, uh, turquoise, um, yellow, white and of course back to original amber. Um, apologies for the bad uh, picture quality, it's just my camera not the device itself. In original these colors are much much brighter. So we turn it to red, go to the menu button and adjust brightness to our liking you can turn it really 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 bright or just very low again in original it is much much more 
brighter and much better quality than in the video. Now we save the config and we are done. So now we can mount it into our pinball machine and uh, the power supply, you have uh, different options um, regarding um, power distribution. You can use uh, the main um, power switch on your pinball machine, which would be the easiest way. Um, maybe we add some um, wiring harness in the future, but not for the actual sets. And like I said before, we are at the moment low on devices, so hurry up if you like one. Bye bye.